so I'm off and already the mosquitoes are thick and I did put bug juice on thankfully I guess I'm ready and if I'm not oh well <laughs> sucks to be me So already the head netting's coming on <laughs> and already I had to uh, reapply the bug juice. It's just a lot of mosquitoes. Backpack's a bit heavy. Ah, oh, so nice to be out here again. This is the Oak Ridges Trail. Eventually this will connect to the Bruce Trail going up to Tobermory. So that's the plan. And you'll notice there's a bench behind me. I've decided to take as many breaks as I absolutely need to in these first couple weeks because I haven't trained. I didn't make the time, I didn't have time. So I'm doing everything now on the fly. And for the first two weeks, as many breaks as possible uh, to allow my body to acclimatize to the weight of the backpack and to hike again. I've already done quite a few hills at the beginning of this journey. It's a very hilly terrain just to get to this point. Uh, my legs are a little shaky, but strong. As if the hills and the woods weren't enough, I've got these on the roads as well. I'm tired. So it's already two o'clock and I've been walking a lot of roads. I still have uh, three more kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles, guys, sorry. I'm at the side of the road and I'm, um, I've had two cars stop <laughs> to make sure I'm okay. I, I'm not used to that. I'm used to people not really caring. <laughs> Pleasantly surprised. I feel okay, my legs are really sore, my feet hurt a little, my ankles are tender, but I do feel okay. I surprisingly don't feel a lot of back pain or shoulder pain, in spite of the fact that my pack weighs about 35 pounds. So far so good. I do think that I'm going to be ahead of my destination. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, which is kind of interesting. I also think that I might get Dom to meet me in the next town and unload some of the stuff that I have in my bag. I haven't eaten anything at all. I had a small coffee this morning before I left. I have water with electrolytes. I didn't bring much food, less than a pound. I've really dramatically downsized everything, including my clothes. But I think that I could still go down a little. Uh, I'll know when I set up camp tonight what I need, what I don't need. My legs are really sore. I've always liked this area. King Township and Caledon area. It's beautiful. A lot of horse farms and rolling hills and it's just exquisite, gorgeous, yummy, delicious land. Premium land, that's probably why it's so many rich people out here. Because <laughs> it's not the average folk like you and I that can afford it. I've made a point to just text Dom periodically where I am, just so he has an idea so he doesn't worry. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring my protein bars so there's a convenience store when I get into the next town. I think I'm going to maybe grab some healthy snacks. That is a field of catnip. And it goes on all the way down there. It's amazing. The only food that I brought with me is this container that has a combination of dehydrated whole eggs that were cooked and dehydrated, raw liver that I dehydrated, and a variety of different canned fish that I dehydrated, so herring, salmon, tuna, and mackerel. And I put it in this container. I added some water. This is my only meal today, and it's probably all I need because I'm not really hungry. I'm tired though. In spite of the fact that I'm carrying 35 pounds or 40 pounds, I don't even know what it is at this point. Um, I still managed to get in, I think about 20 kilometers today. I don't know what that is in miles. And I found a nice little spot here. I'm gonna pitch my tent back there. And uh, then tomorrow I'm off again. <laughs> I feel better now that I've rested and uh, I'm gonna take maybe a little something because my hips are sore, my legs are sore. Brought some, it's kind of like a Robax set. It's a acetaminophen and a muscle relaxer. I don't imagine I'll have to take those for long, just 
for the initial week or so till my body adjusts. So I'm amazed. I'm actually amazed how strong my body is. <laughs> I, I don't give my body enough credit. And, you know, that's just years and years, decades really, of just being physically active. Muscle memory happens real fast. Uh, Dom's going to meet me, not tomorrow, but the next day, in one of the small towns that I'm going to be going into. And I'm going to drop off whatever I can. I'm going to unload. And I think I'm going to be done this hike a lot sooner than I thought, which is kind of cool because I'm now thinking that I might take a couple days where there's some really beautiful scenery and caves and things like that and just spend the day. And in fact, I might just spend, because uh, where Dom's going to meet me in the town, there's a conservation area. I might just pitch my tent, like pay and stay there for a night or two just to let my body recover before I do the next leg. And then I think maybe in about three days, three or four days after that, I will reach another conservation area and I think I'll do the same thing. So this way, my body can truly recover. For the most part, it can carry this weight, but I'm noticing it in my legs. And you know the gluteus minimus, not the maximus, not your butt muscles. They're the top part of your butt on the, just where your, as your body starts to curve into the spine and into the sides, you have muscles on there. And mine are weak. And boy, oh boy, are they feeling it with this backpack. So great, because I'm gonna get in shape. <laughs> Finally, I think the prolapse is okay. I don't seem to have any issues. The fact that I have lots of electrolytes in my water, I don't feel thirsty at all either. Um, I am perspiring a lot, so I'm trying to be mindful to drink, but I'm not thirsty. It took me about 20 tries, but I finally got my food bag up in the tree. Shortly after I hung it, I had a murder of crows come because I think they sensed it was food. I had a conversation with them. They left. So far, so good. turns out that I am not able to do this long trek. I can't carry the weight. It's too hard on my body and I didn't bring a, a sleeping bag and I froze all night. I was cramping. I was so cold. I, I didn't sleep. I haven't slept in two nights. I didn't sleep the night before I left and I didn't sleep last night. I think it's just I have to do the trip differently. I can still do it. I just have to do it differently and I have to do it in five day hiking trips. That way I carry a lot less. I can probably get my backpack down to maybe 20 pounds, if that, 15, 20 pounds. But yeah, this was, uh, I mean, it was beautiful. And I really wish that uh, my body could go on, but I, I just can't. You know, if I didn't have a disability, I'd probably push forward with it, but not with the disability. And then this adds on to it. So I just have to go home and recover and recoup and revise my plans. So I'm waiting. Dom's coming to pick me up. Thankfully, I started at this end close to home and not the other end or else he'd have to drive five hours to come get me. And that's not good. There's a horse farm back there and I've been chit-chatting with the horses. I mean, it's so lovely out here. There's sheep and there's horses and there's cattle and there's cornfields. It's just, for me, I'm in heaven out here. I love the country. Do I feel like I failed or was defeated? No, I don't. I, I really don't. I think what I discovered is 
in spite of the fact that my body is strong, I can't push it anymore the way that I used to, not with the disability. So I have to be mindful and respect the fact that the body isn't what it once was, and that's okay. Thank you.